So in our previous video, we have discussed how we can create your log using your log monitors and have an Ucon app. Now what if if you have a number of logs created or in your system's grid crashed? So how you're going to get it? How many logs you're going to check? So for that, we have a separate tool called as a diagnostic tool. So we are going to diagnose our website errors by using this diagnostic tools, even though if we don't have any logs or if we have ample of log, we are going to check how we are going to use this diagnostic tool to find out the exact error where generally we are getting the error and because of which we are getting stuck. So let us begin with how we are going to use this diagnostic log into your websites. So for checking the logs for their applications, for example, we are finding some error into the applications, the application get crashed or something. So what we can do, we can move into your application and then we can move below and scroll it. And here we have an option, diagnose logs. So we can diagnose the logs related to the application over here. You can see your application log. First, you need to enable this log every time. So it creates a logs for the errors, warnings, information, and verbose. So here I will be enabling this. Same way, always enable the logs for each and every storages. You generally keep, define where you are going to store this uh, application logs. If you haven't created any application log, what will happen again? It will again uh, not store any log and you won't be able to get any of your applications. So here I'm going to add the storage where I'm going to store my application logs here. So this is the local storage I'm going to add. And uh, here again, back to your application diagnose logs you can find how many days you want to keep this particular log so i just want to keep it for 60 days for example server login you can define web server where you are going to log in you are going to uh, log in through your storage file system or you need to, no need to define any server logging if you don't want to but right now i want to define all the storage login available over here on the storage which we have configured same way you can also define uh, detained error messages so i'll just enable it fail request tracing i'll enable it and everything you can see and you can find out in on your uh, ftp server here it is generally we have uploaded this particular login so you can just copy this and once the report has been generated you can get access to this logs through this particular link and uh, you can check why your application is crashing over here uh, all the failure logs related to your file systems your blob storages will be stored and it will be stored till 60 days of the logs or the failure happens same thing your web server log also will be created if it is a web server and if it is a login uh, or the applications created for your mobiles you will be able to get the mobile application server logins so this is what we have seen like how we can create uh, and diagnose the logs of your applications and we can troubleshoot through the logs what exactly the kind of error generally we get over here so ensure that you are creating a logs and we can find out those logs and we can resolve the errors generally we have into your applications.